Hi everybody, we're back again and here's uh, Kathy with today's axiom. The gospel presented clearly will expose us honestly. All right, we're in uh, Acts chapter 7 now mm -hmm. and the focus of chapter 7 is... Stoning of Stephen. Correct. So to set up our verses, uh, Stephen's in a hot dispute with the Pharisees. He uh, gives an accurate account of Jewish history. Nobody even tries to refute that. And then he uh, ends up with the dispute uh, and the conclusion going like this. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 7, 51 through 58. You stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did, so do you. Which of the prophets did your fathers not per persecute? And they killed those who foretold the coming of the just one, of whom you now have become the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the direction of angels and haven't kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed at him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God and said, Look, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Then they cried out with a loud voice, stopped their ears, and ran at him with one accord. And they cast him out of the city, and they stoned him. Now, it's a rather interesting. We hear a, a familiar phrase in here, cut to the heart. Where did we hear that before? Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2 is right. And uh, they're actually hearing a similar speech to the one that Stephen just gave. But their reaction back in chapter 2 was quite different. How did they yeah. react? What must, what must we do? What must we do or what shall we do, depending on your translation. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> and and confronted with the same facts, we have one group that um, opens their hearts and repents. Mm -hmm. We have another that takes up stones and kills. The first thing the gospel does is to simply reveal who we really are. Thus our axiom. Our axiom, the gospel presented clearly will expose us honestly. That's our axiom this week. May God bless you as you do life His way.